Give me your horn. Thank you, that's one. Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Welcome back to Dragon Quest Builders. Last time we infiltrated a, uh, a city, or a pyramid, I should say, and we got some evil idols, which are sitting in our coffers here somewhere. Somewhere, where are they? Oh, they are here somewhere, come on now. There's the, the bronze temple tile, which I think look really cool, but I'm more concerned. There we go, evil idols. Functional, a sinister statue that spits great gouts of fire at passes by. Brings fire anyone who passes in front of it, including us, by the way. Just caution. And we also saved Magnus here and got ourselves uh, some iron recipes. So let's talk to Magnus. Seems like the rate your city's expanding has got the monsters in a bit of a panic. The Dragon Lords had the whole of Alephgard by the short and curlies for hundreds of years now. By the short and curlies? Oh my goodness, but this might be our chance to turn our tables. Dazza, if you're going to clear that darkness from the sky, you're going to have to be quick about it. I reckon it's time you start preparing to take on the boss of the monsters. The secret of making a f uh, the secret of making a furnace, the ultimate in smithing equipment, has been handed down in my family for generations. If we had one of them, we could smelt steel and shape it into fiercely powerful weapons and armor. I'll show you how to build the thing, but the actual building, I'll leave up to you. All right? All right, let's build ourselves a furnace. A crafting station, a massive metal chamber, so hot it can melt the hardest materials. It can be used to make auriculum items, <clears throat> I think is what it said. Uh, is it in here or is it... No, it must be in this one. Let's take a look and see what we need. And we need... Uh, we need a forge, some iron ore, and some coal. Well, uh, we need some more... Co well, basically, we only need like four bits of coal. Let's go grab some coal real quick because... This seems super quick. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? Is, uh, I think I'm actually going to look into doing a little bit of a side quest here. I'm going to go to the Cantlin Castle, and I will meet you guys there. Okay, so the castle is just coming into view here. There it is. Uh, we don't want to actually head towards it. We want to head to the right around it, uh, and along the mountains here. Just ignore the other monsters, because we're about to fight um, a namesake of the game. The game is called Dragon Quest Builders, and I uh, I promise you, we're not going to uh, be about to fight a, uh, a builder, and we're not going to be about to fight a quest. Uh-huh, uh-huh, you see where I'm heading with this? You're picking up what I'm putting down, yeah? Well, let's just continue around this way, <clears throat> and we will soon see what we are heading towards. Hi, Chimera. Bye, Chimera. I mean, it's not like I've given it away or anything, have I? <laughs> uh, but yes, um, in Cantlin, you'll see three of these guys. And you'll also see some items around this one in particular. That's because I actually already started fighting it. Um, but it, it, it turned into nighttime, and I just had to make a run for it because um, I, I just couldn't fight with all the other monsters around. So before we start fighting, I think what I'm actually going to do... <clears throat> excuse me is uh, try and find some drink. Jeez, no, I'm not going to be able to, so I'm actually going to eat my other bunny burger so that we get a bit of an attack boost, but we also get um, a full hunger. But the attack boost is the main thing. So the dragon, he has... Ouch! <laughs> he has two main moves. He will breathe fire, and he will also do that spin attack there. It's quite easy to tell when he's about to attack, so all you have to do is just get a couple of hits in, you can get maybe five in before he'll do, do an attack. Oh, here comes another fire breathe. And then just back out again. Uh, I think if you're close to him, he'll spin. Uh, you can tell which one he's about... You know what? Wow, that skeleton didn't die. You can tell which attack he's about to do because... Um, uh, with the fire breathing one, he'll sort of uh, rear back a little bit. But with the spin one, he'll just do it. Okay, so you'll see him charge up. He's going to spin. Uh, with the fire one, he'll turn, like, as he's about to breathe fire. I guess he's aiming. <laughs> you can actually really easily beat these guys by putting spikes underneath their feet. Um, and they will, like, take spike damage. Oh, dear. Uh, but other than that, it's a fairly standard boss fight. Just keep, uh, keep hitting it. Uh-oh. It's, it, the best time to do it is when he breathes fire. 51 critical hit damage there. That was fantastic. Breathe fire. There we go. And then just attack his leg. I do recommend doing a normal attack over a spin attack because spin attack, you know, you can do one, but it's about three hits worth of damage. So you might as well just wait for him to breathe fire and get in a good five or six hits of there. That was fantastic. Oh, that got me. That wasn't so fantastic. 
We ought to be careful because we're a little bit low on health, but so is... Oh, I missed him completely. But so is the dragon. All right. A couple more passes of this and we should be good to go. He's going to spin. Get out of there. Good news is we've got our boots on, so if we take full damage, then it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Get out of there. Thank you. I don't know if jumping actually does anything. I just feel good about doing it. But most of the time, if you... Oh, yes. There we go. Most of the time, if you... Um, if you do, if you start attacking him after a fire, uh, a flamethrower thing, he'll do a spin attack afterwards. Anyway, he will drop a fireplace. This one in particular, I don't think really is much worth it because there's a fireplace in the, uh, what's it called? <clears throat> there's a fireplace in the, um, oh my goodness, what am I trying to say? There is a fireplace in the pyramid in Damdara, or Damdara, or whatever it's called. So I don't think it's really worth coming here for this in particular. Uh, you know what, we can just jump down and I can show you my feather falling boots. Um, so yeah, not really worth it, but hey, it's there. If you want to complete the game, you're going to have to defeat some dragons. So, I mean, it's Dragon Quest Builders, so there's going to be dragons. Anyway, I did come in this cave for a reason. I thought there might be something here that we need, but there isn't, which is a shame. Um, there is a cave nearby the castle, which is actually, I didn't know this, but different for every playthrough of the game. Um, so it's not going to be the same where everyone goes, uh, but it's going to be noteworthy to find it. So um, I'm not going to find it just now. I think I'm going to head back to town and uh, because I got some coal on the way, which is fantastic. So I need to actually do the quest that I came here for. And I spent an entire day doing this, this one quest, which is a little bit annoying, but it doesn't matter. I mean, this is what the game's all about. Quests, right? Dragon quests. We beat your dragon. One of the dragons, anyway. There's a couple more dragons, but we won't we won't talk about that. Uh, the rewards you get from them aren't spectacular, but anyway, uh, Magnus wants us to build him a furnace. I believe we have everything we need to build him a furnace. So we need a forge. Bish bash bosh. Make another forge. We could have just picked up that forge. I'm such a dummy. Anyway, now let's make the furnace. Bang bang bang. Boom, we now have a furnace that Magnus wants. So let's, oh, pop the furnace down. It's the exact same size as a forge, and it turns it into a blacksmith studio. So it's basically the same as a forge, just a little bit upgraded. It literally, it, it functions the exact same. It just unlocks new recipes. It doesn't um, turn the room into something else. It's, it's basically a souped up forge. Nice work, Daz, and now we can make some properly tasty weapons. With a furnace, you can smelt steel, and steel weapons are a fair sight stronger than what you've been using so far. Just like the weapons they had back then. You've been to the castle behind the Hammerhood's village, haven't you, Daza? I sure have indeed. I was just there. I've heard that one of the uh, one of my ancestors holed himself up in that fortress after Cantlin fell, but the people living there turned on each other and started arguing amongst themselves. They all started to suspect one of another of everything under the sun, and in the end, they drew their weapons. Well, what do you think that golem who was watching over them thought of all that, hey? And I wouldn't be too surprised if he was still around here somewhere, watching over Cantlin even now. If it was him who destroyed this place, I can't help thinking he might have had a pretty good reason. But anyway, good work, Dazza. Now, go and make yourself some decent equipment and teach them monsters not to mess with us. Alright, thanks for the coal, I guess. I mean, maybe he wants us to... Oh, I know why. So, in order to make steel, we need iron and coal. Uh, what else can we make with, uh, well, I guess we have to actually have to make some steel first. So let's make five steel ingots. Bish bash bosh. There we go. And we will learn how to make a steel broadsword. Look at that weapon there, or look at that damage. A war hammer. Ooh, a steel sledgehammer. So heavy that only the strongest of soldiers can hold it. And a steel shield. Anything else? Oh, a barricade. Oh, we need those. Steelbound stockade des des designed to defend against marauding monsters. And that's it. So, of course, uh, we're going to want to build... Oh, I can't build a warhammer? Because I need... Oh, I need an extra scorpion horn. Huh. Can break very hard blocks. Can break very hard blocks. I kind of want that. But I think you need the, the scorpion horn. It comes from the iron scorpions, doesn't it? Uh, let's build the steel shield. Because we can, and I will. There we go. He puts it in the equipment bag. <laughs> Let's make the steel broadsword. Because I can, and I will, and I now have. And I think... Oh, I can't remember where I saw some iron scorpions, but I think they're in Dandora. So I'm going to see if I can find at least one 
real quick and see if, oh, I know where there's a couple actually, and see if I can't, uh, oh, you know what, let's, uh, let's equip our new sword, let's equip that new shield as well, wait, did I equip the right one, equipment, uh, steel one, yeah, cool, so I'm gonna see if I can find some iron scorpions, and I will be right back, alright, here's one, and there's also a ghost here because it's night time, but you know what, I don't care, I'm gonna mess some things up, look at that ghost, it's dead, there's another ghost now, Scorpion horn, please? Nope, no scorpion horn from that guy. That's annoying. Let's see if I can find another one. There should be quite a few around here. Oh, there's a guard. Oh, look at that. Critical hit. Boom, get dead. All right, more scorpions. Bring it on. Give me your horn. Thank you. That's one. Um, let's see if I can get another one because I like having extras. Uh, you know what? Come at me, bro. Oh, look at that. Double kill. Uh, you know what? Not worth it. And in fact, it's also not worth me using another Chimera Wing, so I'm going to head back to town uh, my own way. Ouch. Excuse me. You may be an Iron Scorpion, but I have steel defenses. You missed, Ghost. You missed. Ow. Excuse me. No. You know what? Get dead. There's too many things around here. I don't like it. There we go. Okay. Now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to head back to the Teleportal. Again, I will be right back. Looks like we made it, and I brought a ghost buddy. So I was thinking, I think the reason why I don't have the recipe for the Warhammer, um, or I didn't get the recipe for the Warhammer on my, my other save file, was because I never got a scorpion horn. So, just a little interesting detail there. I may have got it, or I may have just never found any scorpion horns, so never bothered to make the sledgehammer. But because I have the option to this time around, I'm sure as heck going to do it. Come watch me. I'm going to do it right now. I want the Warhammer. Was it called the Warhammer? Yes, it was. Let's make it. Bish. Bash. Oh, there was no Bosch. But he puts it in the equipment bag. Here we go. A Warhammer. All right. Oh, let, look at that. That is beautiful. Oh, bang, bang, bang. All right, cool. Let's put everything else we have away. Oh, you, there isn't any room. Okay, I'll make room. We have two fireplaces now. Let's tidy all that up. And, um... Oh, I feel bad because we haven't done anything. So... Yeah, mm, you know, Canelm has something for us to do. What do you have for us to do? Hmm, Daza, have you noticed how the monsters have been attacking more aggressively lately? Not only do they arrive in greater numbers, but their troops are more powerful too. It really seems like we've caught the Dragon Lord's attention. We can't just sit here twiddling our thumbs while he builds up his army, Daza. We need to ready the strongest weapons and armor we can, and meet the Dragon Lord's forces head on. That's why we need to fit out a special room to store these arms, so that we can draw them at a moment's notice. I know, if you put some ornamental armor and ornamental swords in the dressing room, we can use it as an armory. Please, Daza, turn our dressing room into an armory. We need to be ready for battle at any time. And that is exactly what we're going to do at the start of next episode, guys. Thank you all very much for watching this episode of Dragon Quest Builders. Join me next time when we build an armory and also see what LaRouche wants, or LaRoch. I still haven't been told how to pronounce his name, but I, I bet that's because no one knows. Some monsters appear near our base. Come get some, buddy. Where are you? I'll mess him up. Where are you? Come on, bring it on. Thanks for watching, guys. See you all next time. Bye-bye. No! Bad! Bad!